Welcome to The Tread. My name is Dallas and I'm the parent of two autistic boys. One of them is non-verbal and the other one is verbal but has other issues which make communication difficult. They also have sensory processing challenges. And I find having a clear and set routine really helps them to remain more calm and focused. Last year, I made a training video for a therapy clinic on how to use Prolo to make visuals. I've split it into three parts. So here's part one. I use Proloquo to go, which I'll refer to as Prolo, to make visual schedules, labels, instructions, and so much more to help them to become more independent in their daily life. Here are some examples of visuals that I have made using Prolo. Daily schedule. Write the day, cross off each activity once it's done. You can also add visuals of support workers that will be coming that day and any extra activities. If it's laminated, you can wipe it all off to use again the next day. Words of the week. Make up a visual to remind others what words you want to focus on that week. Daily chores. Mark them off as you go. Wipe it off and use it again the next day. Getting dress visuals, different ones for school, weekend or bedtime. Labels, use the same visuals from the dressing schedules for the clothes storage. Setting the table prompts, laminate them back to back so you've got one visual for different meals. Going swimming, make up a simple laminated page with commonly used words or phrases Put it in a mobile phone running strap and you can wear it around your arm in the pool. Social stories. Make up a simple one-page social story to communicate a consequence for a non-preferred behaviour. Schedule for packing bag. This could be used both at home and school for consistency. Program visuals. This was a home program the boys did where we set up different shops to teach various skills. Hard copy core word vocabulary page. This can be laminated and put in different environments so that Prolo is always available. Zones of regulation poster. Using the same visuals for emotions on the poster that are on Prolo is helping them to learn the emotions more consistently. Three day schedule. Helps them to know if they're going to be at school or at home and what activity they may be doing those days. Activity cards. These are Velcroed to the three-day schedule to communicate the activities they will be doing. Weather prompts. This can help you to communicate to them when they can or can't go outside. Recipe cards. When the visuals used are the same as what they use on Prolo, it makes doing the activity easier than if they were unfamiliar visuals. Sometimes, when a person is totally overwhelmed by their environment, it can be hard to hear and understand what others are saying. Visuals can be a concrete and clear communication tool when they are overwhelmed. Visuals can also be a great indirect prompt to remind users of what the next step is. Let me show you how you can use Prolo to make these visuals. I hope this has given you some inspiration on how to use Prolo to make visuals. Make sure you watch part two and three to see how it's done. Bye.